So I was a sophomore at Skyline High School. I had a boy that just began to be really unkind to me. When he saw me in the halls, he would approach me and he would, he'd point at me, draw attention to me so everyone would look and he'd say my name and he would say a lot of unkind things and I remember cowering, looking up at him and really started to affect me was when it was repeated, when it became this habitual bullying. That's when it became terrifying. I was racking my brains. Had I said something? Had I looked at him wrong? Had I offended one of his friends? Or I didn't know if he was going to hit me. I started to dread going to school. One morning, I got up and read my scriptures. But this time, I had a little bit more of a, a reason and a purpose for reading. I wasn't just reading to be a good girl and check the box and do it. I needed help because I didn't want to go to school. I had that pit in my stomach where I just was like, oh, if I run into him, it's going to be so humiliating. I didn't know how I was going to make it through the day without some help. And as I was reading, I came across our Savior's words where he says, but behold, I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you. Now that really stuck out to me to pray for them who despitefully use you. And that was like the bam in the mm. scripture. So I just knelt down and I said, okay, God, I am going to pray for this enemy that I have. And I know he's your son and I know you know him and you know why he's behaving the way he does. I don't know his life. I don't know what's going on in his home. I don't know what his insecurities are, but I'm going to pray to you every time I think of this person. I thought of him hundreds of times that first day. And so I probably prayed for him two or 300 times that first mm. day. It didn't solve my problem. My problem didn't go away. I was able to make it through longer periods of my day without being consumed with this thought of being bullied. I was able to feel peace. Miraculously, after two weeks of praying for him, my, my little home phone rang mm. and I picked up the phone and was shocked to hear him on the other end. And he said, I know I haven't been treating you kindly and I just want to apologize. And I was so shocked that I probably just said, that's okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> I remember getting off the phone and just being full of gratitude and realizing, oh my goodness, these scriptures are magical.